Hello guys, this is Nadeem from Maths TV. Hope you will like this video. Before starting, I just wanted to invite you to be a part of our YouTube family. You can do this by just clicking the red subscribe button. Also press the bell icon so that you get notifications for newly released videos. And do not forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. Without wasting your time, let us start. Hello guys, today we will be going through IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4 Extended 0580-42 Feb March 2020. Question number 1. Dhanu has a model railway. He has a train that consists of locomotive and a, one locomotive and four coaches. Locomotive is 87 grams and each coach is 52 grams. Work out the total mass of the train. So five, four coaches, four into 52 and one locomotive, so plus 87. This will be resulting to four into 52 plus 87 and this will be 295. So 295 grams will be our answer. Work out the mass of the locomotive as a percentage of the total mass of the train. So 87 is mass of the locomotive out of 295 which is total into percent. So multiply by 100. This will be um, 87 over 295 and multiply by 100 will be giving us 29.49 29.49 or we can write 29.5 percentage symbol is already there the train is 61 centimeters long and travels at a speed of 18 centimeter per second it takes four seconds for the whole of the train to cross a bridge calculate the length of the bridge so length of the bridge we have to calculate. So we can consider for example this is like a train. This is a train which is 61 centimeters and this is the bridge which it has to cross. So this is like a bridge which is a, which is x uh, centimeters of length so total uh, distance will be 61 plus x and speed is 18 so 18 will be it's taking four seconds to completely cross so it will be equal to 4 so x is equal to 18 into 14 and this one and minus 61 this will be equal to 18 into 4 14 will be equal to 18 into 4 not 14 so 18 multiplied by 4 is equal to 72 minus 61 will be equal to 11 so it will be 11 centimeters so x is equal to 11 so this bridge length will be 11 centimeters in a new, new locomotive costs uh, a new locomotive costs 64 dollars Calculate the cost of the locomotive in rupees when the exchange rate is 1 rupee is equal to this many dollars. Give your answer correct to the nearest 10 rupees. So these dollars we have to convert into rupees basically. So 64 divided by 0 0.0154 will be giving us rupees. So this will be rupees will be 64 divided by 0 0.0154 and this will give us 4155.84 and nearest 10 so we can write it uh, 4160 so we can write approximately equal to 4160 55.84 so it's 4160 will be our answer now D part, the cost of railway magazine increases by 12.5% to uh, $2.70. Calculate the cost of the magazine before increase. 
this is basically a reverse percentage question and to calculate this so x is like for example the original um, price and cost of railway magazine increases by 12 percent so 12 percent 112 we can calculate directly 112.5 uh, percent of uh, x is equal to 2.70 so x will be equal to 2.70 into 100 and divided by 12 112.5 and this answer will be 2.70 multiplied by 100 and divided by 112.5 this will be giving us 2.4 so 2.4 dollars will be the answer Dhanu plays with his model railway from 650 to 1115 he then rides his bicycle for three hours um, find the ratio time playing with model railway car uh, railway and ratio time riding bicycle so time for this one will be how much we will calculate this time first so 11 hours and 15 minutes minus 6 hours and 50 minutes so this will be equal to 4 hours 25 minutes so 4 hours 25 minutes this time will be 4 hours and 25 minutes basically this will be the time for uh, model car playing with model car right so model uh, railway so this time will be for model railway now for uh, the other one is uh, 3 hours so that will be 3 hours now uh, this ratio we can uh, uh, convert into minutes and then we will be uh, calculating like for example 4 hours 25 minutes will be what uh, 4 into 60 4 into 60 plus 25 this will be 265 so 265 ratio uh, this will be 180 so 180 and now we can find 265 divided by 180 will be equal to 53 ratio 36 so this will be our answer 53 ratio 36 hopefully you understood this now f part the value of thanos model railway is 550 dollars uh, this value increases exponentially at the rate of r uh, percent per year at the end of five years the value will be this one calculate the value of r so for reverse percentages value new value will be this one and current value is this one 550 into 1 plus r over 100 r over 100 into raised to the power r so now we can calculate this 736 divided by 550 and will be equal to 1 plus r over 100 whole raised to power 5 now we can calculate this we can take uh, this power value we can take 736 over 550 fifth root of this one and will be equal to 1 minus this and 1 we can shift to this side so minus 1 is equal to r over 100 and 100 we will multiply on this side and we will get this answer and r will be equal to we can calculate this so 100 into this will be fifth root of uh, this one and 5 and this will be 736 over 550 and minus 1 so this will be equal to 5.999 5.999 or we can write it as r is equal to 6 
so r is equal to 6 this will be our answer so question number 2 the table shows some values for this one we have to replace if we replace x is equal to 0 this will be 0 this will be 0 and value will be 3 so y value will be 3 if you replace 0 0.5 so 2 into 0 0.5 and raise to the power 3 raise to the power 3 minus 4 into 0 0.5 uh, raised to the power 2 and plus 3 will be equal to in case of 0 0.5 it will be 2.25 2.25 and in case of 1 this will be 2 2 minus 4 will be minus 2 and this will be so this will be 1 these are three values which we have to calculate after after the uh, filling this table, after completion of this table, we have to draw this one. So to draw this one, minus 1 and minus 3 will be over here. Minus 1, minus 3 is this point. Then next value is minus 0 0.5 and 1.75. Minus 0 0.5 and 1.75. 1.75 will be in this point and then comes uh, 0 and 3 0 and 3 will be this value and 0 0.5 and 2.25 2.25 will be this point hopefully you are getting uh, then 1 will be 1 for 1 1 will be this one then 1.5 1.5 and 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 will be over here and 2 and 3 will be 2 and 3 will be this point so this will be like this one curve will be like this so use your graph to solve first you have to draw the curve to draw the curve, what we can do, we can join this one and we have to draw this also like a smooth curve and we will be joining this as well and this one like this and now we have to draw smoother curve like this one and also we have to join this with this like this one so this is done but see this is not so smooth so we can take additional value like 1.5 uh, 1.25 so if we take 1.25 1.25 value to check the exact position of the curve so 1.25 we will get uh, we will get this one 0 0.65 or 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 will be like this one so if you see this portion of the curve we can readjust this and we can we can curve it to curve this one I'm just turning like this one and now it will be a little smoother curve like this so this is done now after doing this one After finishing this, use your graph to solve this is equal to 1.5. So 2x cube minus 4x square plus 3 which is this equation is equal to 1.5. So 1.5 is this point. If we have to draw this uh, uh, line 1.5 and 
y is equal to 1.5 will be this line if we accurately draw it will be having three x values one value is 1.5 one point um, one point we can take it as 1.7 basically this should be like this one curved one so we can take it as one one this this side is minus so this will be minus this is 0 0.5 0 0.6 so minus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6 I have taken minus 0 0.6 now uh, this value will be plus this is uh, 0 0.5 this is 0 0.75 and this is like 0 0.8 so we can take it as 0 0.8 now this next value is uh, this one is uh, 1.5 and 1 1.6 1.8 7 so it's 1.7 exact value we can take 1.7 so these are three values where this uh, uh, line is intersecting this curve the equation y is equal to this one is equal to k has only one solution so one solution will be see below this one be below this point which if I'll show you like this one so below this point will be one solution at this point will be two solution and be above this one will be three solutions three solutions three solutions up to this one so they are saying that uh, um, what's the possible value of uh, uh, what's the possible value of k so <clears throat> from minus one to two so from x value from minus 1 to 2 so for this one we can write any value like for example y is equal to 0 will be this one having one solution y is equal to minus 1 will be one solution y is equal to minus 2 will be one solution even y is equal to minus 3 will also be one solution so our answer which I am writing is y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 or k is equal to 0 so I will just write 0 because this one they are asking what will the, what write down a possible integer value of k so I am writing this one as 0 so our answer will be it, it can be possible answer as minus 1 minus 2 or minus 3 as well now this is b part on the grid draw the tangent to the curve at x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 is basically this point so we have to draw the tangent and drawing tangent mean it should touch only at one single point so at this point only it should touch so this is a possible curve which we have drawn so we will consider a triangle and if we take this triangle like this one and this one so this triangle will be this one so we can check rise is 2 3 4 5 and 5.4 this side is 5.4 and this side is 1 2 and 2.3 uh, 2 point basically this will be 1 and so this is 0.5 right so 1 will be up to this one 1 and 1 1 1.2 or 1. yeah this side can be 1.2 so 5.4 5.4 divided by 1.2 will give us as uh, 4.5 so 4.5 will be uh, the gradient at 1 so for uh, use your tangent to estimate the gradient of the curve at x is equal to 1 this is what we have 
calculated which is 5.4 divided by 1.2 which is equal to 4.5 so 4.5 will be our answer and this is the triangle which we have shown which we have used to calculate the gradient of this one now write on the equation of your tangent in the y is equal to mx plus c for it so uh, we have to uh, write on the equation of this tangent now to find the value of basically value of c will be required we will extend this uh, line if we extend this line from here so it will be like this one so it will be it will be intersecting y axis at this one this is minus 1 and this will be minus 1.8 uh, we can take minus 1.8 so c value is equal to minus 1.8 and m is equal to 4.5 so y is equal to mx plus c so it means y is equal to minus 1.8 uh, minus 1 point, you know, basically m value is 4.5. So this will be 4.5x minus 1.8. So this will be our answer y is equal to 4.5x minus 1.8. This will be the required answer. Hopefully, you got this as well. Now, question number three. So a part Manjeet uses 220 liters of water each day. She reduces the amount of water she uses by 15%. Calculate the number of liters of water she now uses each day. So reduction is by 15%. So directly we will calculate 85%. 85% 85 of 220 liters will be equal to, we can calculate this, uh, 85 over 100 and multiply by 220 this will be giving us 187 liters so 187 liters will be our answer Manjaneet has two mathematically similar bottles in her bathroom the large bottle holds 1.35 liters and is 29.7 centimeter high so this is the volume and this is height and the smaller bottle holds this one uh, 0 0.4 liters so volume ratio we have so 1.3 calculate the height of the smaller bottle so 1.35 is volume of the uh, bigger bottle and volume of the smaller bottle is 0 0.4 so k value this will be k cube k cube will be equal to so we can check 1.35 divided by 0 0.4 is equal to 27 over 8 or we can write it as 3.375 now k value will be equal to cube root of this one so cube root of answer will be equal to 1.5 so on k value is 1.5 now this is uh, height of the bigger bottle so height of smaller bottle will be um, so height of smaller bottle will be 29.7 divided by basically 1.5 so this will be height 29.7 and divided by 1.5 will be equal to 19.8 centimeters will be height of small bottle this will be height of small bottle so 19.8 centimeters will be our answer water from Man Manjeet's shower flows at a rate of 12 liters per minute the water from the shower flows into a tank that is cuboid of length 90 centimeter and width 75 centimeter Calculate the increase in the level of water in the tank 
when shower is used for seven minutes so we'll have to calculate how much water will be entering to the uh, to the tank and how much height will be increased so in this case basically length and width of the cuboid is given so uh, we will check first of all 12 liters per minute so in seven minutes how much water will be flowing so total water water will be 12 multiplied by 7 will be equal to 84 this will be in liters but now we we don't need liters we need centimeter cubes so we can multiply this uh, by 1000 so it will be 84000 this will be centimeter cubes this will be the water now volume we have to check for this cuboid volume of cuboid will be equal to 90 into 75 into h which, which we don't have and this volume should be this one eight four triple zero should be equal to 90 into 75 into h this implies h is equal to 84,000 divided by 90 into 75 and if we calculate this uh, 84,000 divided by 90 into 75 this will be resulting into 12.44 so we can write 12.44 this will be centimeters height hopefully you understood this this is a tricky question i think so so this is question number four uh, a solid metal cone has radius of 1.5 six five centimeters and slanting height of 4.70 centimeter calculate the total surface area of the cone the curved surface area a of a cone with radius r and slanting height l is a is equal to pi r l so to calculate uh, total surface area basically total surface area will be curved surface area plus the uh, the area of the base area of the base is pi r squared which is circular area so plus pi r l which is uh, this one pi r l this will be total surface area so total area will be equal to this one pi pi we can take common so r square will be 1.1.65 square plus uh, r will be again 1.65 multiply by l will be height will be this one slanting height 4.70 and now we can calculate this uh, pi and multiply by 1.65 squared plus uh, 1.65 into 4.70 and bracket close and this will be giving us 32.92 so this is equal to 32.92 or we can write it as 32.9 this will be our answer 32.9 find the angle the slanting height makes with the base of the cone so for B part we can consider a triangle basically this will be the triangle slanting height and this will be the base so this angle is basically required at this slanting height we have which is provided which is 4.7 and this radius is also given which is 1.65 so we can take this angle this will be uh, adjacent over hypotenuse will be cos theta so cos theta will be equal to um, 1.65 divided by 4.7 so theta will be equal to cos inverse of 1.65 over 4.7 and this will be calculated as cos inverse of 1.65 over uh, 4.7 and this will be giving us 69.44 69.44 will be our answer 
69.44 now c part calculate the volume of the cone for volume of the cone basically we require height which is this one h also perpendicular height will be required this height so rest of everything we have we have to calculate this if we have to check this one this will be equal to uh, under root of uh, 4.7 square minus 1.65 square this side square minus this side square under root will be h now this h value we can replace over here and we can write volume of cone will be equal to 1 by 3 pi into 1.65 squared into this one under root of 4.7 squared minus 1.1.65 squared and if we calculate by the help of calculator so this will be 1 over 3 uh, into pi this one and into 1.65 square and multiply by root of sorry this one root of 4.7 square minus 1.65 square and this will be giving us uh, answer and this bracket we have to remove and we'll have to write bracket over here and this will be 12.54 so this is equal to 12.54 or we can write 12.5 as answer now uh, second part a metal sphere with radius 5 cm is melted down to make cones identical to this one calculate the number of complete identical cones that are made this volume of sphere formula is given so we will replace this uh, radius in this one so 4 by 3 pi r cube which is uh, 5 cube this will be volume of the sphere and now from this volume of the sphere uh, this these cones are uh, melted so we can divide this by 12.5 this will be the number of cones and if we calculate this one this will be 4 over 3 multiply by pi so this will be pi into 5 cubed so 5 cubed and this will be giving us answer this one divided by 12.5 so this will give us 41.88 41.88 so completed cones complete cones will be equal to 41 so our answer will be 41 hopefully you got this question as well no um, write as a single fraction in simplest form this is given so we can take LCM this will be x minus 3 and x plus 2 now this into this will be x plus 3 into x plus 2 minus this into this will be x minus 2 into x minus 3 and now we will be opening the brackets this will be x squared into uh, this will be plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 and this will be minus I will put brackets so that we will not be confused this will be x into x will be x squared x into minus 3 will be minus 3x minus 2 into x will be minus 2x and minus 2 into minus 3 will be minus 6 and divided by I will keep this one as it is x minus 3 and x plus 2 now we can open brackets so we'll get x square plus 2x plus 3x mean 5x so I will write here 5x so 5x 5x and plus 6 and this one with this will be minus x squared and this will be minus 5 so plus 5x and this will be plus 6 
now divided by x minus 3 and x minus plus 2 so this square will be cancelled and this will be equal to 10x plus 12 and over this will be x minus 3 and x plus 2 and this one we can take uh, uh, common the common we can take uh, 2 so inside will be 5x plus 6 over x minus 3 and x plus 2 this will be our answer basically we have done a small mistake this will be uh, minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 will be plus 6 so when this will be plus 6 when it will open this will become uh, minus 6 so I will change this one to minus 6 and this will be cancelled with this and we will not be getting 12 over here we will be getting only plus 10 so this will be our final answer I will erase this one and our uh, final answer will be over here 10x over x minus 3 into x plus 2 this will be our final answer hopefully you got this no b part this one uh, is a parse question so 12 uh, 2 raised to the power 12 we can write 2 raised to the power 12 and minus this one k over 2 this is equal to 32 these bars basically we have subtracted and we can write 2 raised by 12 minus k over 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power uh, 2 raised to the power 4 will be equal to 16 so 2 raised to the power 5 we can check 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32 so we can write 2 raised to 5 so it means 12 minus k over 2 is equal to 5 so yeah so this will be we can shift this to other side so k over 2 is equal to 12 minus 5 which is equal to uh, 7 and k is equal to 14 so answer will be k is equal to 14 now c part expand and simplify so first of all we will be expanding first to this will be y square and y into minus 4 will be minus 4y plus 3 into y will be plus 3y and plus 3 into minus 4 will be minus 12 this one will put in brackets multiply by 2y minus 1 now we'll multi first we will combine this one y square like terms we will add we can write minus y minus 12 and now we will multiply these two and this will be y square into 2y will be 2y cube y square minus 1 will be minus y square and minus y into 2y will be minus 2y square and y into minus 1 will be plus y and this one minus 12 into 2y will be minus 24y and minus 12 into minus 1 will be plus 12 now we will have to uh, add the like terms 2y cube only 1 and this is y square y square so minus 3y square and minus 23y plus 12 and this will be our final answer which we can write over here 2y cube minus 3y square minus 23y plus 12 this is done make x as a subject so x is on both sides we will cross multiply so xy is equal to 3 plus x now this x we can shift to this side xy minus x is equal to 3 x we can take common so it will be y minus 1 is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 over y minus 1 so 3 over y minus 1 this will be our final answer now question number six Sulika has six cards numbered one to six these are six cards she takes one card at and records the number and replaces the card write on the probability that the number is five or six so five or six will be 
probability for five or six there are two cards so two by six so we can write two by six or in the simplified form it will be one by three so b part solica takes two cards at random without replacement so it's not replacing this is very important and taking two cards find the probability that the sum of the numbers on the two cards is five so there are uh, different possibilities of getting five it can be four and one and other option can be one and four first card is first card in this case will be four and the second card will be one in this case first card will be one and second card will be four and other options can be three and two and two and three so these four options are possible so we will uh, for first probability it will be one over six and for the second one it will be one over five because one card will be taken out and without replacement we are going for the second draw so these these options will be there will be one two three four options so multiply by four so this will be the probability if we multiply four by uh, one over six into um, into one over five this will be giving us uh, two over fifteen so two over fifteen will be the probability for this one hopefully you understood this as well uh, second part find the probability that at, at least one of the numbers on the cards is a square number second part find the probability that at least one of the numbers on the card is a square number so for square number basically we will be we will be checking for not a square number not a square number first card will be 4 out of 6 because uh, see this is a square number this is a square number so not a square number will be 1 2 3 4 so for the first number probability will be 4 over 6 and as we are not replacing so for the next number not to be a square number will be 3 by 5 so the this will be the probability that it is not a square number so 1 minus this probability will give us at least at least one of number is a, on the card is a square number so if we calculate this we will get 1 minus 4 over 6 minus uh, multiply by 3 over 5 and this will give us 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 will be our answer for this question question number 7 a part Naja has n marbles Pevan has three times as many marbles as Naja Naja uh, loses five marbles and Pevan buys um, ten marbles together together they now have more than 105 marbles write down this and solve an inequality in n so first of all we will have to write on the inequality then we have to solve the inequality so let us suppose that Naja is having n number of marbles which is given this one and loses 5 it loses 5 mean n minus 5 so n minus 5 and uh, Panav, Panav uh, buys 10 more marbles so uh, 3 times pa Panav has 3 times as many marbles as Naja so 3n plus we will add if we add these to 3n and bought 10 more so plus 10 this one is greater than 105 more than 105 so this will be the inequality now we have to solve this one open the bracket so n uh, plus 3n and minus 5 and plus 10 will be plus 5 is greater than 105 so this will be 4n is greater than uh, 100 this one will be 100 so n is greater than 25 so n is greater than 25 this will be our answer and then b part y is inversely proportional to x square so we'll write y is inversely proportional to x square like this 
so we, this implies y is equal to k over x square now they are saying when x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 y is equal to 7.5 so 7.5 is equal to k over x is 4 so 4 square will be 16 so this implies k is equal to 16 into 7.5 which is equal to 16 multiply by 7.5 this is 120 so k value is 120 so this equation will be y is equal to 120 over x square find y when x is equal to 5 so y we have to find when x is equal to 5 5 square will be 25 so 120 divided by 25 will be 4.4.8 so our y value will be 4.8 find the nth term of each sequence so these two sequences they have given we have to find the um, value of nth term if we check the difference this is uh, minus 2 again minus 2 minus 2 so the difference is minus 2 so we can uh, write it as like for example minus 2 into n if we take n is equal to 1 this will be minus 2 but we need 4 so plus 6 so this will be our answer we can write 6 minus 2n or 2n plus 6 this will be our answer then for the second part we will have to check this is like uh, first order difference is uh, plus 6 and this one will be 10 and this will be 31 minus 31 minus 17 will be 14 and 49 49 minus 31 is equal to 18 this is 18 and now if we check second order difference this will be 4 this is 4 and this is again 4 so second order difference is same it means this will be involving n square so n square and if we if we write uh, n square uh, basically we can uh, n is equal to 1 it will be 1 square which is this one n is equal to 2 will be 4 but we need uh, 7 so if we take 2n 2n will be for n is equal to 1 it will be 1 square it means 2 so minus 1 so this is how we will be checking for example for second we will be replacing n is equal to 2 this will be 4 into 2 will be 8 8 minus 1 will be 7 so this is working we can write 2n square minus 1 now question number 8 a part a diagram is given which is not to scale the diagram shows a quadrilateral pqrs formed from two triangles pqs pqs and qrs qrs okay calculate qr qr is this side so this side is required um, for this one we can take this over this yeah sine rule we can apply so 6 over sine 72 degrees will be equal to we can take this one as x so x over sine of 25 sine of 25 degrees so this implies x is equal to 6 sine 25 degrees divided by sine of 72 degrees and now we can calculate this 6 sine of 25 degrees divided by sine of 72 degrees this will be equal to 2.666 or 2.666 or we can write it as 2.7 this is basically qr value so we can write this one as 2.7 this side is 2.7 now they are saying find ps ps is this side so this side is required so this over this basically we don't have angle so we can use these two sides and this angle this will be cosine rule so we can use uh, ps ps square will be equal to 
seven point four square plus six square. So this side square plus this side square minus two into seven point four into six and cos of thirty four degrees. So this will be we will be calculating this seven point four square plus uh, six squared minus two into seven point four into six into sine cos of thirty four cos of thirty four and this will be equal to seventeen point one four seventeen point one four this is basically p s square so p s we have to calculate so if i'll show you the working which i'm doing this is the working basically p s is required this is cosine rule which i have applied p s square is equal to one side square plus second side square minus two into both sides and cause of the angle which is provided which is thirty four so now we will be we have simplified this and we got 17.4 now we are taking root to get ps value so root of this one root of answer will be giving us 4.14 so this will be 4.14 or uh, this will be the proper answer 4.14 cm the area of the quadrilateral pqrs we have to find so for the area of uh, the um, quadrilateral We'll be finding area of both triangles. So one by two into AB sine C. We can use a half into AB sine C. So area will be equal to one by two uh, half into AB. It means seven point four into six into sine of thirty four and plus one by two. And area of the other triangle will be. Um, basically, we will have to find this angle. This is seventy-two. This is twenty-five. We can find this angle. So seventy-two plus twenty-five is equal to ninety-seven. So one eighty minus answer will be eighty-three. So this angle is eighty-three degrees. So we'll use this um, six side and two point seven. So a half into A, which is six, into the other side, which is two point seven, into sine C, which is sine of eighty three degrees, and if we calculate this, this will be one by two zero point five into seven point four into six into sine of thirty four will be equal to twelve point four one, twelve point four one. Plus this value one by two, uh, so uh, plus one over two, and uh, multiply by six, multiply by two point seven, and multiply sine of eighty three degrees. So this will be equal to twenty point. Four five. So directly we can write answer twenty point twenty point four five twenty point four five. This will be our answer twenty point four five centimeter square. Hopefully you got this answer as well. Okay. Now B part. This diagram is provided again. It is not to scale. The diagram shows an open box. This is open box in the shape of a cuboid. A B is given. A B is twenty. B C is eighteen. A E um, A to E is sixteen centimeters. A E is this one sixteen centimeter. A thin rod A G X A G and X rests partly in the box. As shown, the rod is 40 centimeter long, so the complete length is 40 centimeter from A to X. Uh, calculate G X. So this remaining length from this point to this point, this length is required. Um, 
so what basically if we find ag then 40 minus ag we will get the um, the gx value which is required so first of all we we need to find this length to find this one we will consider this triangle and which is i will draw the triangle for example from here we have to draw this one and this is right angle and first of all we will be finding ac ac will be this square plus this square so 20 square under root 20 squared plus 8, 18 squared 18 squared under root this will be equal to okay so i will write this one as it is 20 squared plus 18 squared by Pythagoras theorem I have calculated AC now <coughs> we have this side as AE as 16 so CG will also be 16 centimeters so now we can uh, we can use this and this side to find this one which is also by Pythagoras theorem so first of all for the working I will write AC is uh, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square which is equal to 20 squared plus 18 squared so we write AC is equal to 20 squared plus 18 squared under root this one will be the working for AC now in triangle this one in this shaded triangle in this shaded triangle I will calculate the uh, I will apply again Pythagoras theorem and I will write AG so AG will be equal to uh, 20 square plus 18 square under root whole square this side square AC square plus CG square so plus 16 square so we can show even over here AG, AG square is equal to AC square plus CG square. We can write this as well. So this step, then this step, and now we will have to uh, find this one. So this will be basically uh, square and root will be cancelled. So 20 square plus 18 square plus 16 square and this will be equal to we can simplify this one 20 squared plus 18 squared plus 16 squared this will be 980 this will be basically this will be a g squared so this is 980 this uh, value is a g squared now ag will be equal to root of this one and root of answer will give us uh, uh, 31.30 31.30 uh, now this is ag length and we know ag length is this one from this point to this one but we need gx now we can write gx is equal to gx is equal to 40 minus ag so this is equal to 40 minus 31.30 so we can write 40 minus uh, uh, 31.30 this will be equal to 8.7 so our answer will be 8.7 centimeters so hopefully you got this calculate the angle the rod makes with the base of the box so now they are asking for this angle as well so for example if this is theta so we have this 16 we have this side also so this over this will be opposite over adjacent will be tan theta so we can write tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to uh, cg over ac uh, cg cg over a uh, C and CG is 16 16 over this one will be 20 squared plus 16 uh, uh, 18 squared 18 squared this one 
and theta will be equal to theta will be equal to tan inverse of 16 over 20 squared plus 18 squared this one and we will find this tan inverse tan inverse of uh, 16 over uh, root of 20 squared plus 18 squared and this will give us the value which is 30.73 30.73 degrees so our final answer will be 30.7 hopefully you understood this as well <coughs> now question number nine uh, this year 40 students have uh, each traveled by one or more of uh, plane P, train T or boat B. Seven have traveled only by plane. So this is plane. So only plane will be seven. So we'll write seven over here. Eleven have traveled only by train. So eleven will be here. And nine have traveled only by boat. So nine will be here. No issues for this. Now next is n of p intersection t is equal to 8 p intersection t p intersection t is this area so this is 8 basically so and b intersection t b intersection t is 3 this area is 3 and this area is b intersection B intersection P is 6 so this intersection is 6 so we will uh, calculate this one for example if to solve this question we can suppose that uh, this section like for example this is intersection for all is K if this is K then P intersection T is 3. P intersection T is 3. So this portion will be 3 minus K. 3 minus K. And uh, not 3 basically 8. P intersection T is 8. So this will be 8 minus K. Similarly B intersection T. B intersection T is this one is 3. So this will be 3 minus K. And this one P B intersection P is 6 so this will be 6 minus k this is what we have considered now we, we can solve this like uh, this should add up to 40 which is 40 students provided now uh, we can write the equation uh, like for example this one uh, we can write 7 plus this one 11 plus 9 these three we have added and plus 8 minus k this one plus 3 minus k and plus 6 minus k and plus this k plus k should add up to 40 degree uh, 40 students so this will be cancelled with this and this one will be adding up to 44 minus k which is equal to 40 uh, this will be minus k and minus k so minus 2k so our equation will be simplifying to 2k is equal to 44 minus 40. So 2k is equal to 4 and k is equal to 2. This will be our value and this k value we can replace over here. So our final uh, equation will be this will be k it means 2. So our final Venn diagram will be this will be 2 and this will be 8 minus 2 means 6 so this one will be 6 and this will be 6 minus 2 it means 4 so we can write here 4 similarly this will be 3 minus 2 it is 1 so this will be the final diagram final Venn diagram which we have done with this working and complete the Venn diagram A part which we have done which is 3 mark question now find N of P union B P union B is this one P union B complement will be this one only 11 so our answer to this one is 11 
use set notation to complete the statement so we have to show this uh, statement uh, p union t union b complement if we if we take everything in this one p union p union t union b so nothing is outside so we will write phi we can represent it with phi this one or we can show with only two empty brackets nothing in those brackets so this is done this is deep next is d part two students are chosen at random calculate the probability that they both have traveled only by plane so only by plane if we check the venn diagram plane is this one only by plane is this portion so it will be 7 so for this question two students are chosen at random from this section so 7 first student will be probability for first student will be 7 out of 40 and for the next one it will be 6 out of 39 because it's not being replaced so it will be 7 multiplied by 6 over 40 multiplied by 39 which will be uh, calculating to we can check 7 into 6 over 40 multiplied by 39 this will be giving us 7 over 260 7 over 260 this will be our answer e part uh, two students are chosen at random from those who have traveled by train calculate the probability that they both have also traveled by plane so train this one also by plane so this is 8 now we can consider out of 8 it will be so for this one basically two students are chosen at random from who from those who have traveled by train so traveled by train are these this one these are 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 11 20 so traveled by train are 20 and they must have traveled by plane also so by plane is 8 so 8 out of 20 first for the first one will be 8 out of 20 and the second one will be 7 out of 19 if we multiply these two probabilities it will be 8 multiplied by 7 over 20 multiplied by 19 and it will be simplifying to 14 over 95 14 over 95 this will be our answer at the proper location I will write 14 over 95 this will be our answer now question number 10 functions question f of x is given g of x is given h of x is also given find in simplest form f of x minus 3 we will replace uh, x minus 3 in this one so f of x minus 3 will be equal to 4 into x minus 3 minus 1 this will be 4x minus 12 minus 1 so this will be 4x minus 13 will be our answer and we can write here 4x minus 13 then g of 5x this is g of x so g of 5x uh, 5x will be equal to 5x whole square so this will be 25x square our answer will be over here 25x squared now uh, find f inverse of x f of x we have we can write y is equal to 4x minus 1 now we can make x as subject so x will be equal to y plus 1 over 4 now we can swap x and y so y is equal to x plus 1 over 4 and this will be our f of uh, f inverse of x is equal to x plus 1 over 4 so our answer will be x plus 1 over 4 hopefully you got this answer as well so we have made x as subject then we have swapped them x and y and this is our answer find the value of h of h of 1 so first of all we will find h of 1 h of 1 uh, correct to 4 significant figures h of 1 h of x is equal to 3 raised to minus x so we will write 3 raised to minus 1 this will be our uh, uh, h of x or we can write this one as 1 by 3 now h of uh, h of 1 will be equal to 
1 by 3 so 3 raised to a minus 1 over 3 and we can calculate this 3 raised to the power uh, minus 1 over 3 and this will be giving us answer as 0 0.69336336 and they are saying up to four significant figures so will be one two three four six we don't require so our answer will be 0 0.6934 so we, our answer will be at proper place 0 0.6934 this will be our final answer d part uh, show that g of uh, 3x minus 2 minus h of uh, minus 3 can be written in this format g of uh, 3x minus 2 basically we have to find g of 3x minus 2 g of x we know g of x is equal to x square so we will write g of uh, 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 will be equal to um, 3x minus 2 whole square this one and if we open this will be 9x squared plus 4 minus 2 into 3 6 6 into 2 will be 12 12x this will be our uh, square after opening and now we'll have to write h of uh, minus 3 so h of minus 3 will be h of x is this one so h of minus 3 will be 3 raised to a minus 3 3 raised to a minus 3 which is equal to um, we can keep as it is and then we can basically minus if we if we add them like for example this one g of 3x minus 2 minus h of minus 3 this will be this one 9x squared plus 4 minus 12x and minus this one 3 raised to a minus 3 now 3 raised to the power minus 3 will be uh, minus 3 will be 1 over 27 so 1 over 27 this will be 9x square uh, minus 12x and uh, this one is 1 over 27 plus 4 plus 4 will be equal to um, is, is equal to this one so basically what we have done uh, this one we have done mistake this should be minus minus 3 minus minus 3 because uh, it's already h of x h of x is equal to x raised by minus x so when we replace x by minus 3 it will be minus minus 3 so it will be plus three. so we can write here plus 3 and this will be 27 so plus uh, 4 will be minus 23 so we can write here minus uh, uh, 23 yes so this will be our final uh, answer required see this equation and this equation 9x square minus 12x minus 23 <coughs> now uh, they are saying second part use the quadratic formula to solve this so they are now they are specifying that we have to use quadratic formula so we cannot use any other method so a is equal to 9 b is equal to minus 12 and c is equal to minus 23 and quadratic formula we know x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac over 2a and we will be replacing values in this one minus b mean minus 12 plus minus b square means minus 12 square minus 4 a is 9 into c is minus 23 over 2 a 2 a means 2 into 9 now we have to just replace this value for plus and minus first we will replace by for plus so this is minus minus plus so 12 so i will write here 12 because this minus and minus cancelled and i will write plus <coughs> first we will be calculating for plus and then we will be calculating for minus and in brackets minus 12 uh, squared this one and minus uh, 4 into 9 will be 36 
36 this one and in brackets I will write minus 23 and over this will be 2 into 9 will be 18 so I will write 18 and it's giving us 2 point um, 2.398 for plus value so you can write x1 is equal to 2.398 or approximately equal to 2.4 so we can write this one as uh, 2.4 value and for minus uh, x2 we can write we will just replace minus over here and we will get answer so to replace minus we will move our cursor over here and this one minus this will be giving us this answer and this is minus 1.065 minus 1.065 or we can write it as approximately minus 1.07 so these two answers 2.4 and minus 1.07 these will be our answers find x when f of 61 is equal to h of x f of uh, 61 so f of x we know f of x is equal to 4x minus 1 so f of 61 we will calculate so f of 61 is equal to 4 into 61 minus 1 which is equal to 4 into 61 and minus 1 is equal to 243 243 and h of x we know h of x is given over here 3 raised to minus x so 243 is equal to 3 raised to the power minus x now <coughs> 243 uh, we'll have to we can use different method for this one uh, log is also possible but uh, I will be trying the easier route so I will be using calculator basically and what we will be doing we'll be writing this one like uh, 3 raised to the power I will not write minus I will write x alpha x this one is equal to we will be putting alpha this one equal to 243 so I have written this equation but uh, keep in mind I have written plus this so minus sign we will attach whatever answer we will be getting now shift solve for x is equal to 1 we will be solving this one and it will take a few seconds so you will have to wait for this screen to come and in the meantime I will just uh, yeah this one we got 5 so our answer will be minus 5 because we for, we have not intentionally added this minus so this will be minus 5 so it means x is equal to minus 5 this will be our answer and we can write here minus 5 as answer so you can check also like for example uh, 243 raised to the power minus 5 this will be giving us uh, like uh, uh, th you can directly write like 3 raised to the power 3 raised to the power minus 5 this one will be giving you this one uh, to 1 over 243 so this is really, this is how we can check so x is equal to minus uh, 5 will be our answer which is which we have written over here now question number 11 a curve has equation this equation is provided work out the coordinates of the two stationary points so two stationary points we have to find for stationary points we will be taking for standard derivative dy over dx will be equal to 3x squared minus 3 and this will be 0 so we will put for standard derivative equal to 0 so 3x squared minus 3 is equal to 0 this implies x square is equal to 3 over 3 which is equal to 1 so x is equal to plus minus 1 these will be the two values and these two values will be replacing in this equation to get the y values so x value is 1 and minus 1 we will write the points so for y value we will first put x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 will be giving us y is equal to 
वन माइनस थ्री प्लस फोर सो दिस विल बी फाइव माइनस थ्री विच इज टू सो वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन वाई विल बी टू दिस विल बी वन पॉइंट एंड द सेकेंड पॉइंट वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन वाई विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन क्यूब माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस वन प्लस फोर वी आर रिप्लेसिंग माइनस वन इन दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस विल बी माइनस वन एंड प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो दिस वैल्यू विल बी सिक्स सो दीज विल बी द टू स्टेशनरी पॉइंट स्टेशनरी पॉइंट्स आर बेसिकली द पॉइंट्स वेर ग्रेडियंट इज जीरो सो ग्रेडियंट मीन डिवाइड बाई डी एक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वी वॉट दीज टू पॉइंट्स वी कैन राइट हेयर वन एंड टू एंड माइनस वन एंड सिक्स दिस विल बी द टू पॉइंट्स देन डिटर्मिन वेदर ईच स्टेशनरी पॉइंट इज अ मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम so we will find the second order derivative first order derivative we found dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 3 so d2y over dx square will be the second order derivative which will be 6x and uh, 6x so this will be we will be finding 6x uh, this derivative at those stationary points so d2y over the x square at uh, 1 at 1 and 2 this point will be equal to 6 into 1 which is equal to 6 which is greater than 0 so greater than 0 means this will be minimum so this will be minimum point and for the second point d2y over dx square at minus 1 and 6 at this point will be 6 into minus 1 and we will uh, check this is minus 6 which is less than 0 so this will be the maximum because second order derivative if it is uh, less than 0 uh, it will be minimum and greater than 0 uh, less than 0 it will be maximum and greater than 0 it will be minimum this is how we can uh, identify the maximum and minimum this working will be required for that hopefully you got this point as well uh, now we are done with the paper basically and hopefully you understood each and everything and don't forget to subscribe math tv and also don't forget to introduce this channel to your uh, friends and class fellows and introduce this channel to your respected teachers as well thank you very much for watching take care bye